Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so I got another cleaning routine for you this week. If you're interested in doing Fly Lady with me, now I have to apologize because Zone 2 started, um, it would depend on how, if you want to start on Sunday or Monday, however you want to quote start your week out. I generally, I may do some stuff on Sunday, but generally I just say my cleaning week starts on Monday. So it would depend on how you want to do things, but Obviously, today's Friday, so I'm way behind. But if you want to jump start and, and work on your kitchen next week instead of doing zone three, because probably I'll be behind on zone three, right? As well. Okay, so our cleaning schedule for this week, if you want to do zone two, zone two is uh, second week of the month, and the zone cleaning is the kitchen. I'm going to go through these. I'm just going to list these out. Now, this is, again, from Secret Slob on YouTube. She's also, um, I think she's secretslob.com. So she's doing um, free printables. That's what this is. This is her free printable on her website and it also is linked in her videos on Secret Slob on YouTube. And I love her. She does the Flality system in an easier way. She breaks it down much easier. I also follow Diane in Denmark, who used to be one of the actual Fly Lady mentors. So if you like the Fly Lady system, but um, for me, Marla is a little too much. She's a little too intense, um, a little too strict. Of course, you don't have to do everything Marla says. I mean, it's your life and your house. You do it your way. But she kind of has a way of saying, well, why would you do it that way? I told you to do it this way. So it's a little much for me. So I kind of like to do it my own way and kind of find my own way of doing it. But I love Secret Slob. I love Diane in Denmark. I also follow, um, she used to be called Fly Lady Cat. I can't remember what she calls herself now. But anyway, she goes by Cat, K-A-T, like, like Catherine, but Cat. Okay, so the zone cleaning that Steph has on this page for zone two, which is the kitchen. Clean your fridge, okay, that is what I did this week. I cleaned my fridge and I cleaned part of the freezer. Um, I didn't clean out absolutely everything, but I did move just about everything out of the refrigerator and work on that. Okay, so that was my big thing. And notice out to the side here, she has 15 minutes. Everything is in 15 minute increments. You're not supposed to be killing yourself. This isn't hours working on your freezer, okay? It's not hours and hours and hours of scouring things with, you know, with a, you know, Brillo pad or it, it's none of that. It's simply taking a few items out of your refrigerator and wiping a shelf down. That's all it is. And so if you just want to do one shelf a day, for me, you know, like I think Fly Lady Cat mentioned, just do a shelf or two a day. If I'm going to get in there, I'm just going to do it, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. If I'm going to mess with the refrigerator, I'm going to take everything off shelf one, wipe it down, and then it was still wet, I guess, because it's the refrigerator and it's kind of cold, so I wiped it, and then I dried it also with the paper towel. I, I just use dishwasher liquid and a, and a paper towel. That's usually all I clean with is just a cloth or a paper towel. So, dishwashing liquid on a paper towel will work, or a cloth any cloth doesn't have to be a fly lady cloth i do love her cloth somebody mentioned on the last video about the fly lady cloths and i said i would have one here and i i'm sitting here without one um but i can send her a picture of one what it looks like um, fly ladies cloths are great they um they last forever i use them with my cleaning business i've cleaned for over 20 years now i've used those in my cleaning business for years and i did buy some extras just because they were on sale but i actually didn't need them i just bought them because they were on the sale okay i have not actually torn up any of them they still the the old ones i have work great so you know once you get you get a pack of three and if you just use them every single day you might need two packs so she'll do a buy one get one free pack which is when i would buy it because then you get six for um, the price of three all right, so clean fridge, clean freezer, dust, sills, and shelves. Okay, my kitchen is very basic. I have one window over here, here and then one window there. So I've only got two window sills, and then of course two windows to clean. I do not have, I don't believe I have any shelves in here. I'm not into shelves. Shelves, not my thing. Um, I try not to have knickknacks. It says white knickknacks. I don't do that in my kitchen. I have junk in my kitchen that needs to move. I've got some stuff over here to the side that I need to get rid of all that stuff off my cat off my counter because it's too much cabinet fronts that's another thing you can either use just a, a damp paper towel with some um, some sort of cleaning solution or spray or dishwashing liquid or you can use one of those fly lady cloths 
There goes Cricket. She does this. She's playing with her um, her prey, as we call it. I may have to shut this, because she's really noisy. Hang on, we'll try this. Bye, Cricket, have fun with your little toy. Okay, that's gonna make Tiger mad. He's gonna start, okay. Um, okay, so cabinet front. I did that last week. I think I did it last week. That wasn't part of the zone, but I went ahead and did that last week, because it needed to be done. I had some sticky stuff. Clean stove top. I actually clean my stove top pretty much every single day. I just, that's just part of my thing. I just wipe it down. So I didn't, I don't really do that for the zone cleaning. She's getting louder. Um, clean oven. I'm not big on cleaning my oven. If I was going to do anything, I would just wipe it out, which I will probably do this week. Um, when you actually clean your oven, I'm not sure why this is, and Spencer can't explain it to me either. He doesn't really understand why there would be fumes, but I've actually read if you actually use the cleaning function on your oven, that many fumes are being released into the house. And I will tell you, I've had clients do it while I'm there. I don't know why they do it while I'm there. I would rather them do it any other time because the kitchen becomes 120 degrees and I'm trying to clean your house. And I'm so hot. I am dying. I had one lady every time I came to clean, she cleaned her oven. It's like, why? Why? You know, heat of the summer, it's like 105 outside. Yes, let's clean our oven. No, no. Okay, so if I was going to clean my oven, which I, for whatever reason, we don't have a lot of spills in there, I guess. I'm just careful. I don't know. I just don't overflow anything. I don't fill anything to the top. I, I don't see any reason to fill anything to overflowing. If you're doing that, maybe get a larger pan. But we don't have a lot of overflowing in there. So, I mean, if it overflowed, you just wipe it out at the time. I don't know. Wait till it cools off a little and then wipe it. Obviously, don't do it when it's hot. It would be too hot to wipe. But anyway, so clean oven. I really don't clean my oven, but I may just wipe it down just because we're doing it. I do the outside. The outside, I would pretty much do the countertops and the outside of everything every couple days, every day, every other day. That's just... I use my kitchen a lot, so that's just me. That's that's not even me being OCD. We have cats. Cats are on everything. I, for my own, you know, I have to clean my countertops. That's just me. If if you're if you don't have pets crawling around your house, you may not need that. But for me, I do my countertops every day, pretty much, um, unless we're eating out or something. Okay, she says clean out under your sink. Under my sink never looks any better. I've been doing Fly Lady forever. I don't purge anything. I might purge one or two things. The thing is full under there all the time. I bought too many cleaning products. I tend to buy too many cleaning products and I really don't even use a lot of cleaning products. So it's probably like, why are you buying them? Don't ask me. I don't know, I, don't, I hardly use any of it. Um, there are a few specific things I use and maybe one week we'll go over that, but Okay, clean out the microwave. I did do that. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I checked that off. Clean out the microwave. The windows, I do the windows. When I'm in the zone, I clean the windows. Um, and that's also something you do during the, um, what's it called? The weekly home blessing. She talks about doing your windows, but you're not gonna do every single window in your house. Weekly home blessing is run through your house quickly. So you don't do every window. So the way Diane in Denmark talks about it is to do the windows that are in the zone. So I just pointed, we've got two windows in here. There's also a door right here, a screen door, that also has windows. And so I'll do, I'll, I'll even go outside and do those windows. It doesn't even take five minutes. I know it seems, pick, it's like a picky thing. Um, if you don't wanna do it and you don't care about what your windows, then don't worry about it. It's just, I just know I've got little, little, little dog nose on the door, little paws and little cat noses, and I just wipe those down. So. You don't have to do it every week. You don't you sure don't have to do it every day. Just, you know, pick a time and do that. Okay, and then pantry. My pantry actually looks pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna worry about the pantry this week. Vacuum, I did, I run the vacuum in here. I've got a Roomba that sits right here. I run the vacuum a lot. Um, mop, I didn't mop this week. I may get to it. I'm not gonna die if I don't. Um, dishwasher, I do wipe that off on the outside. Oh, there's a squirrel coming right up here. You don't have enough food. You don't have enough food, you say? Their food's right here on the back porch. So they come up here and say, hi, hi, feed me. Okay, so dishwasher, I did notice there's some, if I look inside my dishwasher, there's like a little ridge that gets a little, um, what is that, moldy looking stuff. So I did clean that off. Um, I guess I can, I can mark that off because I did clean that dishwasher. Now he's going back down. He figured out he's, there's not nothing up here to get, sorry. 
and then backsplash. So if you got a backsplash, you need, might need to clean that. Okay, so the point being, you do not have to clean this whole long list of stuff every single time you're in the zone. Just pick maybe two or three things and work on that. So like the, I don't feel like personally, I don't feel like my refrigerator needs to be cleaned out every single month when I'm in the zone. Now, if you feel like yours does, then hey, have at it. And so she's got the 15 minutes on each one of these. And so you can just pick a couple things out of each, you know, area and dedicate 15 minutes. So we're not, we're not cleaning for three hours in here this week, okay? 15 minutes at a time, 15 minutes here, there, and, and yawn, and you can set a timer. That will help you stay on task when the 15 minutes is done. Um, Flality says quit. Uh, I don't tend to quit. I tend to, if I think I've got like two more minutes, what's it gonna hurt? I'll do the two more minutes. Um, of course, that's up to you. It's, you know, it's probably better to do it her way to just to go ahead and quit, but if I'm almost done, I just keep on. Okay. So we're way past Monday, but Monday is the weekly home blessing and Fly Lady has seven things and the seventh one is purge your magazines and any mail you haven't done. So that's, that is not on Steph's list. There's supposed to be seven. She only does six. I guess she doesn't take magazines, but you know, we all have mail. So make sure every week you're purging your, your mail. And if you're getting magazines, you don't care about, you, you know, recycle or in the good old days, we could take them to, like to the Y or something and drop them off, but can't do that now because of COVID. Nobody wants to touch your magazines. Even if you're healthy as a horse, you can't get rid of your magazines. So, you know, trash them. What, I, what can you say? Just throw them in the trash. I don't know. So, day, um, weekly home blessing is change your sheets. I can't read this because it's backwards. Mirrors. So, we only have two, like two mirrors in our house. Uh, well, the bathroom mirrors. We have some other mirrors, but the bathroom mirrors, we just have two vacuum it's a quick vacuum it's not your whole house it's uh high traffic this is a very quick like 10 minutes each thing high traffic so after you vacuum you mop um i don't necessarily mop every time i do this dust i don't i don't dust my whole house this is again it's high traffic areas so i suggest i've cleaned house forever i suggest um your highest area of dust is going to be your den and your bedroom I suggest you do your den in your bedroom every week just to keep the dust down. Um, you don't have to, but that will keep them, the majority of your dust will be kept down in your house if you will do those two every week. And you'll notice, you'll get in there and you'll be like, it's really not that dusty, because mine isn't. So, um, I normally clean people's houses either every other week or once a month. And so, they do have quite a bit more dust. If you're just doing, if you do everything once a week or run, even just the run through once a week, you will notice your dust is way down. It's really, really fulfilling for me to like do a really good dust about once every two weeks. Um, once a week if I feel like it, you know, whatever. Okay, empty garbage. Um, I'm not really sure why but we had to tell people to empty the garbage. We empty the garbage here like three times a week. I know my parents, I think my dad does it every day. Um, and he has a, a like a trash can out in the garage that he uses. I, we've got the big bin outside. It's very easy to run around here. It doesn't even take me two minutes to run through the house, get all my garbage into one bag and throw it out. So when this kitchen one in here gets full, I say, well, you know, it's almost full. I don't want to waste, you know, the bag or anything. So I go gather everything into that one bag and throw it out. The longer it sits here, the more stinky it's going to get. So again, I'm not sure why we have to tell people to empty their trash. Like I said, I do my three times a week. Maybe I'm super OCD, but I've worked for people who, this is so disgusting, literally had maggots in their house and it's because they weren't taking their trash out. So, I mean, if you'll take your trash out twice a week, you should never see a maggot, just saying. Um, yuck, that's all I can say is yuck. Okay, Tuesday is plan, okay, sh Steph calls it plan and pay. It's plan and play is what Fly Lady calls it. I like this plan and pay better. So it's like, make sure you got your menu plan done. And so what I do, if I don't have it done by Tuesday, before Tuesday, on Tuesday, I sit down and do my Walmart pickup order. I've quit going in Walmart. They've irritated me to no end. So I'm trying to get as much stuff at Aldi and just get a few things at, at Walmart. So I did pick up a Walmart order today. And then you make sure if you have to pay bills, ours is automatic. So I just sit down and make sure everything has happened that was supposed to happen because you know banks make mistakes credit cards make mistakes 
People make mistakes. So just sit down, look at all your money stuff, make sure all your bank statements, whatever you need to look at for the week, make sure it's all good. If you'll do that once a week, it will not pile up. You will not be stressed out. You will not be anxious. It's just once a week. Um, I really love this plan. Wednesday, anti-procrastination. Maybe you need to make appointments. Maybe you need to go to an appointment. Make, you know, maybe you wanna make your appointments for anti-procrastination day. Uh, if you're like me, I don't like to make phone calls. So that's my anti-procrastination thing. Make a phone call that I do not wanna make. Um, I've been putting off a phone call to a dentist for about three weeks now and I still haven't done it. I need to do that on a Wednesday, right? Thursday is errand day. Now, I don't do that. I do, I do that on Fridays. Um, Spencer and I go to lunch. We live a long way from everything. And so if I'm gonna meet him, there's no reason for me to do errands on Thursday and then meet him for lunch on Friday. So I have my Walmart order ready to go. I went and picked up a few things at Aldi. I had lunch, came back home. No big deal. That was my errands for the week. Um, I also went to Sam's earlier in the week. If I'm in the area of Sam's, Sam's is like 45 minutes from us. If I'm in the area, I'll go ahead and go. And so I did do that one day when I was out. And then Friday is car and bag, um, diaper bag, gym bag, purse. Clean out your car, clean out your truck, clean out your SUV. If you need to get it washed, if you need to gas up, um, any of these things, you don't, you know, you don't have to wait till Friday to do this, but get it done you know, by Friday. This way, your car is ready to go for next week. Everything's cleaned out. You don't have to get in a dirty car on Monday and be like, oh, you know, yuck. It's all cleaned out. So when I got my groceries, I made sure there was no trash and stuff in the car. It's just, it's a very quick, easy thing to do once you've done this for several weeks. If you do this every week for about a month, your car's not gonna be dirty anymore. Um, I know those of you with little kids, you've got all kinds of toys and junk in the car. If you can just kind of take a bag throw everything in there. Maybe you need a trash bag and a, and a bag that you're keeping. It could just be small, warm, small, <laughs> small store bags, like a Walmart bag, Kroger bag, um, little, little plastic bags. Um, and then you just throw in the little toys and whatever in there and then clean it out. And then weekends, whatever you have planned, we are finally starting back church. Yay! I've been wanting to go to church ever since they stopped having church for COVID. So, We've been out of church for three months and now we're going back. We have a practice tomorrow, yay! Because the choir, our choir is going to sing. There are a lot of churches, they're not even gonna have their choir, they're not gonna have piano, they're not gonna have organ or whatever. Um, some people are, I think, are just using taped music. Our state's not making you, we have like no mandate. We can do whatever we want. There are guidelines. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I have our choir and orchestra. Yay! And I'm in the choir, so I'm very happy. And then down here, she has reminders, which I love. She's got your menu. You can plan your menu out. Let's see how many lines we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so she's got seven lines. Uh, we do leftovers, so I'll usually only use three or four lines. We usually have frozen pizza that I get at Aldi. Really yummy organic pizza from Aldi. That's our Friday night. Now, the, the thing up here that's very good to do is to plan out a morning and an evening and maybe even an afternoon routine. A lot of times I'll take Ranger for a walk in the afternoon or I do juicing. I might do juicing in the afternoon. Um, there's just different things, you know, you can just pick what you wanna do, but she specifically just has morning and, after, and evening, sorry, morning and evening, and then you can check off if you did the stuff or not. So I have a longer morning and evening routine. I've talked about this before. Um, I have a really long one that I mark off and then I have a shorter one that I write on here that I also mark off. Then some of that is just stuff that I may or may not do. Some stuff I want to do, but it doesn't always get done, if you know what I mean. All right, so the main thing to remember with Fly Lady, progress, not perfection. This is not perfection. We're just trying to get our house clean in little increments, 15 minutes here, there, and yawn, okay? Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. Sorry I'm so late getting this up, but you know, if you didn't clean your kitchen this week and you want to start fresh on Monday or Sunday or Monday, whatever, feel free. Um, if you want to print this out, it's actually on, I think it's on secretslob.com and she has a tab that says resources. So if you go to secretslob.com resources, this is not my resource. This is Secret Slob. Her name is Stephanie. Okay, just want to make that clear, not mine, but I love it. It's so helpful to me. Hope you guys have a great week. Love ya. Bye-bye.